Hi everyone, thanks for checking out today's video. So today we are taking a look at Yodobashi Camera Akiba. For those of you unfamiliar with Japan, Akiba is Akihabara and this is the mecca for toy geeks and toy lovers everywhere. So we're starting off, we're here in the toy department, checking out the hobby kits and the models. We see a lot of trains in front of us um, from Tomix and Tomitech. These are very, very popular here in Japan. Most boys grow up loving trains, whether it's Shinkansen or the local trains. And uh, this area of this floor is dedicated and devoted to that. So we have a lot of stuff all around us, which is for building and displaying um, train models. So, taking a look in front of us now, we have some smaller cars, we have some people that you can put in displays. Here we have a fantastic castle display with some of the old um, village type of structures as well. It's really nice. Wouldn't mind getting one myself. So, moving along down this aisle, we have some a the uh, World War II naval ships here on the left. Very nice. We have Japanese, we have American. And then on the right, we have some of the more modern mixed with some of the older as well. So we have uh, some aircraft carriers there in front of us. Moving along, um, I'm not going to be spending too much time talking about everything in front of us. These are more military um, vehicles here. Just because there's too much going on, there's way too much in front of me um, to really stop and talk about everything. So we just talk about each thing and if something kind of comes up that's a little bit more noticeable, I'll try to mention it. So here we have Warhammer stuff. I don't do Warhammer. I have friends that do. Um, they love painting the, the small figures, which is great. Um, here in front of us now, there is a Titanic display model. It's quite heavy box. It's pretty nice. Not my thing. I don't know if it's your thing, but not my thing. Um, some more World War II, American, Japanese, British planes. In front of us, we have some of the paint fur models. Um, I have some things that I have hesitated in building only because I'm a little bit intimidated by it. Uh, there's a lot of things that I've I've gotten supplies for. There's there's pieces that I picked up that I just haven't put together because I'm afraid of screwing it up actually. And so I've kind of I've procrastinated in in putting them together and, and applying um, the necessary things to make it to make it useful. But uh, one of these days I will. And so when I come into these shops, I like browsing and looking at the various um, tools whether it's paint or or actual physical tools that you need for for putting those things together so this store is is great for that so in front of us now we have a lot of remote control cars RCs various types as you can see There's a El Camino. Some of the smaller pieces. This is the register on the left. People wait in line to buy things. I don't know if that's how things are done in your country. Um, here we have some Tamiya stuff. Tamiya is great for models. Um, they also make a lot of kind of easy to kind of snap together plastic kits which are great uh, in 1 12th scale. I have quite a few stuff from them. I'm pretty sure you can buy stuff like that in the States, whether it's at a hobby store or online. A lot of men in this area. You don't see a lot of women in these, in these areas in the department store. A lot of salary men, which is great. You know, having a hobby helps relieve stress and in Japan, there's a lot of stress at work. 
a lot of hours put in, a lot of pressure on on you to conform. It's not an easy place to work. So these are still models and and kits and such. Now that's a really nice Optimus Prime display piece. That's really cool. And I believe this is Resident Evil. I'm not I'm not too sure. I'm I'm not too knowledgeable on that, but it, the piece looks fantastic. It's great. So swinging around, we see more Transformers. It's a lot of the Hasbro, the Katatomi stuff. I don't know why it's kind of locked up. It's a little bit weird, but it is. The back end of the display. And there is the Robosen Optimus Prime self-transforming. See the price? It's crazy. I don't know. It's pretty crazy. Here we have some of the OG mecha figures. For those of you who haven't been to Japan, these stores, they're very model heavy, um, these department stores, but they have a huge selection of toys as well. They're great to walk around and browse. Here's some One Piece stuff. <clears throat> some Common Rider. Star Wars ships. Some models. Really nice. Death Star Trench display. And Star Blazer. Ujun Senkan Yamato stuff. This is my this is my jam. I love Yamato. Space Battleship Yamato. I grew up on that. Back in the late 70s, early 80s, it was called Star Blazers. It's, I love that show. It was the best. Now, here we have another castle. This is the Wakayama Castle. It's a, it's a model. It's fantastic. It's really great. Really nice. Here's some vending machines. I have all of these. There's a lot more than that. But those are great. Those are real vending machines in Japan. Um, you can buy a hamburger and stuff. It's really great. It's cool. Some Godzilla stuff. Uh, as as a lot of you probably know, Japan is still closed, essentially, to tourism. You can come in, but you have to be part of a tour group or through a travel agency. Um, this is a little armory stuff. Little armory. They make great 112th weapons and accessories. Um, so if you're in a G.I. Joe or, or things like that, Look in a little armory. They make really, really nice pieces that you can use with your figures that are much better than the Hasbro rubber plastic junk that they that they sell with the figures. So take a look. But anyway, getting back to what I was saying, Japan is still closed off and you know, people want to get in here. It's really the only major industrialized nation that's still basically closed off if you don't join a tour or a tour company you can't really you, you don't have access in this megaforce if you remember that remember that movie megaforce is awesome it's a gi joe movie that wasn't a gi joe movie um but anyway so hopefully this this walking tour gives you a little insight here's some of the um shinkalion these are Shinkansen that turn into robots, like basically Transformers, so to speak. My kids love that show. There's an Ed 209. These are Motoroid things. We're not going to look at that. Some more Motoroid. Transformers stuff there. Detective Conan. You know, various IP. But hopefully Japan opens soon. Um, you know, people want to get back in. Kimetsu no Yaiba. People want to get back in to the country. It's it's a great place to visit. It's a pretty good place to live. Some Harry Potter stuff. Marvel. Um, so, like I said, hopefully this video gives you either inspiration or just 
helps fill that void of not being able to come and travel and, and meet your friends and meet your family and just kind of you know walk around the streets of Tokyo and, and take in all the madness. So moving forward, here's a Tamashii Nation's corner. Some Bandai stuff, Tamashii Nation's. So we have Soul of Jokokin on the top. Nendoroid a little bit below. If you could like and subscribe to the channel, always appreciate it. Helps the video, helps the channel, gives me motivation. We had some Draimon and Sailor Moon there, and some Pac-Man stuff, and a, and a Godzilla. I have a few of those Pac-Man. I'm a fan. Evangelion. Evangelion, depending on which country you're in. A lot of um, Gundam stuff. Some more One Piece. Monster Arts pieces. Naruto. Kitty Gundam. So, yeah, I mean, for those of you who've never visited Tokyo, number one, what are you waiting for? Obviously, we do know what you're waiting for. Uh, there's some Draimon. Mass Rider, Ultraman, Common Rider, that kind of thing. Um, so if you've never visited Tokyo, number one, come on. Rectify that. Get over here. Number two, um, you really have no idea how how incredible toy culture is here or model culture it's so widespread and it's so accepted it's it's great it's completely different from the states it's completely different from europe uh here's cup noodle model kit it's pretty cool there's a tyrannosaurus model kit as well um back with the models we'll get back to toys in a, in a few minutes but we're back with the gundam displays um but yeah, if you've never been here, it's a great place to visit. It's a great place to just walk the streets. The people are very friendly. It's safe. It's clean. It's a wonderful place to visit. Uh, so hopefully, if the government comes to their senses and starts lifting some of these restrictions, um, people can come back in. People can see these things for their own eyes they don't have to rely on my videos which is unfortunate i would say at the moment i appreciate that you're watching my video but it's always better to see things with your own eyes so we still have some of the modeling tools i mean it's it's a massive massive area some more than gundam this is where more of the bigger Gundam are, some of the more high-end ones, as you can see there on the right, and then we have some some of the tools for painting <clears throat> here, airbrushing. Over on the right, more Gundam. So again, I mean, <clears throat> a lot of this stuff I know, some of the stuff I don't know, I think it's kind of impossible to really know everything. Um, so for those of you watching, if, if there's things here that you're interested in, if there's things here that I didn't talk about, please let me know in the comments. Always great to hear from people. I try to respond to every message that people send as best I can. So it's great communicating with people and, and being able to talk to people from around the world. More Gundam. Moving along. There's a Detective Conan. Some cards. So here we have the Gacha Gacha Corner. Gachapon. These are everywhere, and especially in Akihabara. 
these little capsule things. Well, we can't see them right now, but they're they're on the other side of us. Some Ultraman. There's some Mafex. Mafex DC, whether it's Hush or the Dark Knight. And we have McFarlane stuff. But yeah, those capsules, you can get some really nice um, 1 12th scale accessories in those little capsules that normally you would think, well, you know, nobody's going to make those type of things, those things that I want. But, you know, you can get some really, really cool small pieces that really highlight if, if you have a diorama or if you have something going on where you have your figure set up. Whether it's around a table, you could have food, you could have small video games. There's all kinds of stuff in these capsules that you can see how many there are. Um, and they're always changing, you know, they're, they're always updating and coming out with, with new sets or, you know, volume one or volume two or volume three. They're, you know, like right there's some food. Just makes for interesting displays, you know, so. I look sometimes. I have I have a couple pizzas for 112. I'm uh, I'm putting together a GI Joe thing. Here's Guy King. I have that piece. Got it at New Year. It's dropped in price. So if you're looking to get one, some more of the bigger bigger items. Some more Demon Slayer. There we have the figure arts Marvel stuff. There's a Mazinger Z, Mazinger Z. These are some of the newer pieces that they wanted to display. The Bandai. So over here, moving forward, you can see we have a little guy. Trying to get some attention. This little dinosaur over here. And behind him we have a Iron Man. I think that's produced by Hot Toys, that particular one. Some lounge fly stuff underneath the Figuarts figures. Those things by Loungefly are pretty nice, if you're into that. Some of the, I think those are Kotobukiya. Some more figure arts mixed with Mafex. A lot of you probably haven't seen these older Mafex Star Wars. They go back a few years. Under these, there's the new IG-11, which is a great figure. We have some of the Hasbro stuff. Sokotano being prominently displayed. Some more higher-end Star Wars pieces. Pewter. Some expensive pens. Especially right here on the end, up top, the pod race, that's pretty cool. I like that. And we have the Hasbro Dinosaurs, Jurassic World, Jurassic Park. Again, if you could subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Thank you so much. This, this toy department is probably as big as most Toys R Us stores were back in the day. I mean, it's a really big shop. We have Godzilla, Godzilla toys, Godzilla figures, there's a Kong. This soft vinyl stuff is great. My kids love them. They get them for Christmas, though they, they destroyed that. Mecha King Ghidorah. <laughs> they took the wings off that in no time. We have a Lego R2-D2. Little Lego area. Lego land, so to speak. I 
This is more the Japanese style toys rather than kind of Western based stuff here. So again, Ultraman and figures from that from that IP, from that line, from that series. There's there's a lot. So many iterations of Ultraman. Some toy cars, toys trucks, some Nerf guns. I might grab some of those for my kids. They're they're getting to be of age where they could use those Nerf guns. These are Tomica trains and cars. There's a Mario. Some more Gacha Gacha. There's Doraemon on the left. My kids. All three love the Raimon. The minion stuff. There's a little Disney corner. And they have various toys from the from the Lightyear movie and some plush figures. There's a Soul of Chukokin Starfighter right there. Still moving along. There's the Tomika area. So Tomika makes the trains here, which are hugely popular. Again, my kids have tons of these and they love them. And there's so many different kinds. There's Thomas and then there's ones based on the Shinkansen, the bullet trains. And then there's local trains. There's just so many and they come out all the time. New models, new styles, retro, Disney ones special train colors they're great again it, it's a train culture japan where you live the price if you're in the city in particular you pay more to live closer to the station it's not a car culture particularly in tokyo so everything kind of branches off from the station the station is the center of any area and the closer you live to the station, the more you pay. Here's some cars, Tomica cars, which I think are superior in quality to the Matchbox and Hot Wheels that you get back in back in America. Much better build, better paint, better styles. Some plush, some Pokemon, Sailor Moon stuff, very popular these kind of animal, they're not resin but they're hard vinyl. This is more the educational toy area. Bugs and beetles and other gacha gacha. Then we have some games area. Kind of a game center there. And there's Ampaman. There's a taiko game. Taiko traditional Japanese drum. There on the left. Those are fun games. So now we're in an area with bicycles. Bicycles in Japan are everywhere. There's some really great bikes to be had. There are some very expensive bikes. These are considered what are called mamachari's. Those are for housewives and women and they have um, children's seats on the front, on the back, or in both. Some helmets. Some home exercise equipment. And moving back, we have a first order stormtrooper. 
but that's pretty much the the gist of the tour um, we're just doing a big circle at this point so I appreciate everyone taking the time watching the video please leave a comment let me know what you think if you've been to Japan let me know what you're looking forward to seeing again once it reopens but thanks again for watching take care and I'll see you next time